Hey there guys, what is going on? Gail right here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Memoria Freeze video. And today we're here with a Shuryu summon on the new Kashima Uka. Now, of course, one thing to note as well is that I haven't uploaded in the last day or two. And that's primarily because I'm trying to spread out the content a little bit. Just so that when I'm back in the UK and, you know, I have to take a week off. There's still content for you guys to watch while I'm away. So keep that in mind. Apologies for the lack of uploads. But the second thing I want to talk about is, of course, the new banner unit that's come out. And that is this Kashima Uka. Yes, he is a water physical unit. So he's part of a insane team already. Because if you look at the past, you know, water units have dominated this game on a regular basis and especially last year we had the Aisha and Bell who might go well with this guy so keep that in mind and on top of that recently we had the Cassandra unit right who gave magic and physical resistance and a counter ability of low water attacks what water physical attacks mind you so I genuinely think this Uka might go well with this Cassandra right here so keep that in mind when we do uh, talk about this unit and stuff like that I haven't looked into any of his details mind you so I'm going into this completely blind okay absolutely blind so let's have a look at him and then we can talk about also his potential teams his um assist options and stuff like that okay so we have this kashima uka mind you uka also hasn't had a lot of units in the past this is very very new for sure so there we go this is the new kashima uka four star he's not had a lot of four star units uh good stats obviously physical units so it makes sense he's got a lot of str there um so his uh special arts uh, bushin randan is a foes ultra water physical attack so he is aoe okay M makes sense i genuinely thought he was going to be aoe SDR boost and ultra on god rate and mag uh, physical resist minus 60%. I was going to say magic res minus 60%. It's physical resist minus 60%. And allies damage received all, uh, all and single targets minus 60% for three turns. I can see what they're doing here. I was right. They're going to make him go well with that Cassandra. Based on his special arts already, usually what they do with these units, you have to remember, whenever Don Mimo releases units, right, they're all, they're, all their special arts are basically enhancements of one of their skills, basically, and it's a bigger and better version of one of their skills. So keep that in mind when you do plan on, you know, looking at the character's kits and stuff. So the fact that he has that already makes me think that part of his passive has a damage reduction skill in his kit okay heavy axe crash foe slow it's a slow attack super water physical attack with ultra and counter rate and physical resist minus 40 percent and self agility counter rate and water attack damage plus 60 percent for four turns and three actions of mid water physical attacks on foes very interesting uh, maneuver i must admit especially because it's a slow hit you're probably going to want to do this first heavy axe crash followed by warrior spirit is my guess um at least that's my assumption for a first skill it makes a lot of sense i think that's really really good and it uh, gives them a lot of power as well as just allows your uh, your unit your uka to be fast as well with that 60 percent agility i don't know why i struggle to speak there um warrior spirit allies fast str 50 percent and damage received attack type all and single targets minus 40 percent for four turns and removes m resist debuffs and foes guard rate minus 50% for one turn. Yes, I think they want you to start running a water stall team basically here. Because once you get this guy into the team, say you run the Aisha for example, right? The Aisha from last year. She reduces your opponent's SCR and magic by 40% as well. Then you bring in another unit that can increase your team's magic res and physical resistances. You've pretty much got all the defenses here. On top of that, you throw in that Cassandra and a couple of other units, and you've got some brilliant, brilliant offensive options here. And on top of that, it's going to be a water stall team going for you. Very, very cool. I really like this unit so far. It's exactly doing what you, you know, what they set up that Cassandra to be, basically. Now, of course, I didn't get the Cassandra, so I'm not probably going to build this team, but it's a great idea I'm thinking of right now, right? Um, then we have his final skill, Kugo Flash. It's a full, so single target, super water physical attack damage, plus 45% per each self damage reduction attack type, all and single targets buff skill. Okay, so... 
you should be getting in total 180 percent here basically because 45 plus 45 plus 45 plus 45 because it counts for both all and single targets very interesting i don't think he's gonna be a great option to go in like say record buster like how we do with some of these uh you know aoe uh, light units right um because i feel like his last skill you're gonna miss out on the attack type all because you're not taking a a you know assist that will you know well, well, you're not going to be taking units that will be uh, reducing the damage you take. Primarily because you want to take some damage to be able to counter as much as you want, uh, as much as possible. So this is a little bit of a extra skill more so than anything else. It could come in handy for um, EX stages, right? EX stages in uh, Story Tales or Familiar, not Familiar Rush, but like maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other potential events you could run this in. I mean, if you're really struggling in 7th Zone, it's a good option as well. So... I guess it's a decent option. You're probably going to focus on his first and second skill, though, for war games and so on. Basically, if we're running a water stall team. Now, speaking of which, we, we obviously spoke about this Cassandra, right? This Cassandra will go extremely well with this Uka because what she does is she gives physical and magic resistance 20% as well as a low water magic attack of 4 twice per turn. This is magic attack. When I say it goes well with this uh, Uka, I mean when you're placing them in a water team together. You probably want to use this Cassandra on a magic unit, right? Like I said, low water magic attack with counter. But what she does is she gives you ma physical resist and magic res. And that's the most important thing. I know a lot of people might have been a bit confused as to why I was saying, oh, they'll go well together. But this is the reason why. Once you start building a team up where your damage is being reduced, uh, you know, you, you, well, not your damage, but the damage you take is being reduced. You know, the damage you receive is being uh, reduced because of these physical and magic res abilities as well as the damage reduction ability. And then on top of that, you reduce the opponent's power by reducing their STR and magic and stuff like that. All of this will come in extreme, extreme help when it comes to, uh, you know, building a water stall team. So let's do our for, uh, say a multi first, the free multi. And then let's go and look at the units we have available in terms of water units, along with just some other options as well. Well, it's a rainbow door to start us off with. Now, of course, one thing to note is this banner or these banners, I should say. It's not just this banner exclusively. These banners have all the units from, you know, the start of the game till now, except time limited units, of course. Um, that is not a Nuka. That is definitely not the voice of Uka. I have a, I have it in my ear and it's a unit that I have plus, I've had plus five since like, I think year one of the game, pretty much. I'm pretty sure I have a plus five, but there we go. I think that was pretty much it, and uh, it is definitely it. Um, it's a shame, and I don't know why they keep adding these old units and banners like these. It just doesn't make sense for me personally. When, especially if you go look at the event banners, like the other event banners going on right now, the uh, Eyes, Lafia, you know, Wiener, the summer event banners going on right now, you won't see the old units in there. So it's a little bit wonky in that regards. It's a, it's a bit of a shame in my opinion. But okay, let's go look at the album now. Let's look at the album now. Let's see what teams we can build with this. Uh, Uka basically so first and foremost we'll look at the adventurer side so we're gonna filter it out by water because you want to run a water team here basically so we'll put it as uh, physical magic and balance those are the three setups we want to look at primarily so of course like I said this bell will do well as well just because he will provide you with the agility reduction on your enemies um, and then of course on top of that you've got the Aisha who goes well in with him as well by basically uh, being able to reduce the opponent's uh, STR and magic as well as their water resistances uh, down by 40%, which is amazing. You want to set them up to debuff primarily so that they can basically just go from there. Um, this Ana Kitty as well, if I recall correctly, is not a bad option either, uh, but not necessarily a great option for this specific team. I think you would want to go for something else in particular. Um, another unit that actually might do well here is actually this uh, Haruhime from ages back. She is a time limited unit, so a lot of people may not have her, but she gives your allies physical, magic res, and endurance by 20% for three turns. Allowing a lot more of uh, a, a lot more security to your team, basically. Again, just stalling the team out. I think these four units together, phenomenal. You're gonna get damage off. You're gonna get uh, you know your ability to hold your team together as well. It's gonna be good. 
Let's look at the assists now. There are some assists that I want to point out that I think will do well. First and foremost, the Cassandra. Put that on maybe, say, the Haruhime or something. I think it'll do well because Haruhime is probably the only magic unit in that team. So, probably throw the Cassandra on Haruhime. But this Hestia right here. Um, if she's from last year's anniversary, so again, time limited. But she'll do well as well because she gives allies damage received. Attack type, all targets and single targets, minus 20% at MLB as well as null ailment which you want especially if you're going up against an ailment team right um there are a couple of other water type uh, water resistance based units like this uh uh chick or ducky hestia as i like to call her uh, i was gonna call her chicken but i guess it was because i read chick march up here in the name as a skill but she's also a good option right um if you have this seer right here as well where is she this wedding seer is actually not really a terrible option either a lot of people kind of sleep on her because she's trying to do two things at once which makes it a really uh, a little bit annoying but what she does is she reduces your opponent's SGR and magic as well as their water resistance as well as boosting your water attack damage you also have this Hestia right here right um the la last year's anniversary Hestia I think it was the third year I'm not sure exactly I think it was the third year anniversary Hestia yes this was third year anniversary Hestia she's not time limited she's which is good but she gives foes SGR and magic minus 20% as well you again the whole agenda with this team you're trying to when you're trying to build this team the agenda for uh this team is to stall the opponent I don't know how well it's gonna be. I think it's still a little bit uh, dicey. You're gonna probably still take a little bit of damage. Um, but maybe with Haruhime's heals, you'll be fine. Um, maybe you might want to run something like a Galmus or, or uh, you know, get, we know, we've seen Galmus's skills in uh, videos gone by where he's able to increase your opponent, uh, you know, your allies' uh, defenses and stuff like that. So there are options, uh, you know, to be able to counter a lot of these hard hitting units. And on top of that, right now, if I'm not mistaken, the only real threat we have in ter terms of Thunder units, which is the thing you should worry about the most, is uh, realistically only the Wiene right now. We don't have any other very recent, amazing, phenomenal Thunder unit. Well, actually we do, we do have that Otaral as well, right? who is still a threat but in general if you look at the uh, meta right now you're gonna see a lot of light units you're gonna see a lot of earth units based on this uh uh event going on you're gonna see a lot of um you're gonna see a lot of wind units as well you're not necessarily gonna see the big threats of the lightning units or the thunder units to counter the water team but even then i think with this sort of uh, stall capabilities um i think you should be fine i think you should be fine but yeah let me know if you're planning on summoning for uka will will he slot into your team uh, well enough i think if you have a, a good set of water units you know i think that rd as well actually and one more thing as well if you are playing since the 30th anniversary and you have these units i may as well mention them i think this rd is also not a bad option right here if i look at her right here she is a little bit more trickier but she does do the same thing as the uh haruhime where she increases your uh, allies physical and magic resist by 30 percent and gives hp regen but also allows you to get that fast avoid ko only when hp is 10 percent or more i think actually this rd is way better i couldn't i can't believe i absolutely forgot about her but she's actually also a really good option for the team and a, a and a great consideration uh, you know in all honesty so maybe she might be a good option again that's where maybe cassandra's low magic water attack might might have to just run on Artie instead even though she's physical right based on her attacks um but you're gonna have to just deal with it uh, her stats also don't make it seem like she's gonna be a great magic user but it is what it is but yeah let me know in the comment section down below you planning on something for this uka i think he's not a bad option in all honesty you could probably run him but again keep in mind that his uh, capabilities and everything will be dependent on what assists you have and stuff like that but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below how do you guys find this video as well. I would appreciate any feedback as well. What do you guys think about the Uka as well? Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below as well and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye everybody.